In this video, I want to show you how you can add auxiliary variables to a full information maximum likelihood estimation procedure in M+. When you add, for example, a path model, a regression model, a confirmatory factor model, or a structural equation model. So here in this case, I have an example where I'm looking at an autoregressive cross-legged model, so a longitudinal model, a longitudinal path model, where I'm predicting outcome variables across time by the previous scores on the previous time point and some other variables. So I have autoregressive effects of the same variable onto itself, and I also have cross-legged effects from one variable onto another and specifically here we're looking at the longitudinal relationship of memory performance and subjective well-being and so this model is given here in the model statement where you can see we have these on statements here to regress the variables at time two on the variables at time one and so then that includes both the autoregressive effects and the cross leg paths as well in addition i listed the um, and, and the exogenous variable means variances and covariances here as parameters so that those parameters are also explicitly in the model, those exogenous variable variances and means and covariances. Now, in longitudinal data, we usually have some missingness and also in cross-sectional data because people don't always respond to all questions or they don't come back to another assessment in a longitudinal study. And so we have to deal with that um, issue. Now in M plus, it is pretty straightforward to deal with this issue when you have continuous variables and when you are willing to make certain assumptions about the missing data mechanism. So if you're willing to assume that your data are missing completely at random or at least missing at random, then you can use full information maximum likelihood estimation with missing data when you have continuous variables. And so that's what M plus actually uses as the default. Now, unfortunately, not all data are missing completely at random, where missing completely at random means that missingness is not related to the variables in your model at all. But um, often data are only missing at random, which means that there are some variables that are in your data set that are correlated with missingness or related to missingness. And so then in order to establish the missing at random condition, you wanna make sure you include those variables that are related to missingness in your model. And in M plus, you can do this in a very straightforward way. And that's what I wanna show you in this video here. M plus has an um, option for including those so-called auxiliary variables into the analyses behind the scenes. So you don't even have to do anything in your model statement with those auxiliary variables. You don't have to mess around with them and see how they can be included in your model. But M plus does this automatically in the correct way. If you just simply list those auxiliary variables here in this variable command under auxiliary M. So in this case, I have identified a variable Z as an auxiliary variable. Specifically, this auxiliary variable Z is correlated with missingness on the outcome variables, meaning it's correlated with missingness um, on the T time two variables, memory two and subjective well-being two. And I have determined that in a previous analysis where I looked at which variables might be correlated with dropout and I found Z was correlated with dropout. And so I'm including Z now as an auxiliary variable, hoping that that will help me establish or at least approximate the missing at random condition so that, that I will get unbiased parameter estimates and also that I will increase statistical power with missing data and so that's the purpose of including auxiliary variables is that then you hope to reduce bias and you hope to increase statistical power because missingness can cause bias under certain conditions in the parameter estimates and it can also always lead to a loss of statistical power because it reduces your sample size and so in that way you can include auxiliary variables very easily and plus then uses a so-called saturated correlates approach where those auxiliary variables are related to variables in the model behind the scenes. In your output, you don't see any of that. So the model output that you get 
looks like the same output that you would get as if you had complete data. The only thing that you will see is missing data patterns. If you ask for those missing data patterns as well as covariance coverage. But other than that, you get parameter estimates and standard errors and test statistics and fit statistics in the same way as you do that for a model without missing data and for a model without auxiliary variables. And so that's really practical in M plus that you can so easily include those auxiliary variables without having to mess around with them yourself. All you need to do, so to say, is identify them. So you need to figure out which variables are correlated with missingness, which variables are maybe correlated with your dependent variables so that they can provide information about those dependent variables that have missingness, and then you can include them there. According to um, um, missing data researchers, such as, for example, Craig Enders, there's no harm in adding too many auxiliary variables. So it's better to have too many there than not enough. So whichever variables you um, find out are correlated with missingness or are correlated with the variables that have missing data should be listed there, and then they will be taken into account. Now, if you want to know more about missing data analysis in M+, please check out the description for a more detailed workshop on how to handle missing data in which I also show how you can do multiple imputation in M+. I also show in this workshop how you can identify auxiliary variables in M+. Also, check out Craig Ender's website, Applied Missing Data. Um, he also has M+, examples there for how to handle um, missingness. Please subscribe to this channel, leave a comment in the comment section and I'll see you next time.